guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and today I've got something for you that I got for Christmas. Um, most of you will know what this is for, uh, but just for the ones that don't know, this, these are close-up filters. They're made by Polaroid and they come like in sets of four. You will have like a one times, a two times and four times and ten times. And you may ask, well, why do I want this for? Well, um, if you want to get into macro photography and uh, you don't know if you're going to like it or not, spending a thousand pounds on the lenses is, uh, to be honest, a lot of money. And if you're not going to use it again, a thousand pounds, it becomes way too expensive. So this is where this comes in. You can buy close-up filters for very cheap. If you do like macro photography and you want to invest in some lenses uh, further down the line, then you'll be able to. If you decide you don't like it, it's not a big deal. You still have them. Um, they co they go for fifteen pounds on Amazon. That's where I bought them from. Uh, you still have them, and and uh, you can uh, either lend them out or sell them, and you won't lose too much. With the lenses, it's a bit more difficult. You will always lose quite a bit of money. So. Uh, just to have a clear look of what you, you get inside the box, I decided to do this video to unbox this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it uh, so I can show you exactly uh, uh, how they perform. Um, these particular ones are 67mm thread, which is the lenses that I, that I normally use, my, my um, Sigma lenses that I've got. It's got a 67mm wide thread. Uh, so this is why I, I chose these ones, but if you would like them for different lenses, they sell them for different sizes. So I normally what I do is I get them for the biggest size lens I've got, and then I get adapters, something like, um, I'll just show you one, something like this, and then you'll be able to, have to attach the filter to here, and this will be smaller, I'll show you a bit closer, and this will be a little bit smaller to uh, fit onto the smaller lenses. So that's it. Um, let's go and see what we get in the box and then I'll do a quick test. Okay, so let's open this up and have a look at what we get inside. So Polaroid did put a nice little bag, like most of these filters will come in a bag. Um, and they will have like compartments inside. Polaroid says that uh, decreases the minimum focus distance of virtually any, any lenses to macro lenses. Dual thread design makes it easy to combine close-up filters to create extreme macro effect and or add other optics example a polarizing filter, a UV warming filters. Premium grade optical glass ensures no loss of detail. So they do stick by these filters and hopefully they won't let me down and you'll, you'll be able to um, make an informative buy if you are in the market for one of these. Okay, so let's have a quick look inside. And inside. So inside we get four compartments with the four filters I told you about. One times, a two times, a four times and a ten times. I'll just have a quick look. This looks like it's the biggest one. It's uh, actually no, this is a, a plus four, and they are quite um, big if you can see them in there. They are really, really uh, thick glass. Uh, so, this is the four times. So, the ten times should be this one. That's that's which one it is. So, they all marked Polaroid 67 millimeters. So, it's close up ten times this one, uh, as you can see there. Okay, so let's uh, uh, let's put them in the camera and find out how they perform. Okay, so for my test subject, I decided to choose this little guy here. You won't see it because my soft box is uh, a little bit further back. I'm trying to illuminate this part here so you guys can see it. I didn't put the second soft box in. I regret it now. I should have done it. I'll do it for the next video. So this is my little guy that I'm going to use for the experiment with these uh, lenses and hopefully it's got a little bit of detail uh, to it and it should be fun to, to actually use these filters like that. Okay, so first of all let's uh, put this aside and get my camera. Okay, one of the things that you won't be able to see is that it's quite dusty in here. Okay, so 
I'm using a um, 2.8 lenses. They are uh, 2.8 to 4.5. They're the Sigma uh, 18 to 50. So uh, they've got that uh, 67 millimeter thread that I told you about. So we'll start with um, plus one and make our way. Yeah, there you go. That's plus one and make our way up to see how far we need to focus. So. First one I'm going to do is without anything. Um, I've got 18, uh, 2.8, so so I still can focus. No, I can't focus anymore. Yeah. So this is it. This is how uh, how, how close I can get to that little man. So I'm going to take a little bit just so you guys can see it. Okay, so that's my first one. So we'll put the <coughs> plus one, and obviously, like like I told you when I was reading the description, you can um, mount this up, the, the, all of them on top of each other, and you get like a plus seventeen with all of them together. Uh, I've just noticed that my lens are a little bit dirty, so I'm just going to clean them before I start doing this test. And I'll clean the filters as well because they are a little bit dirty. And you know, to be fair, to make it fair, I just clean them. And uh, at the moment, I've got a UV filter on here as well, so uh, uh, I will be able to test it with the UV filter and then uh, see if there is much difference without the UV filter. If there is much difference without the UV filter, then I will uh, remove it. Okay, that looks like it's going to be the best I'm going to be able to get this one too. So let's attach this to the UV filter and I'm just going to take this head. Okay, so I've got the plus one now. And let's do another test. Oh, this is extremely dirty. So I'm about here now. It does look extremely dirty through the optical viewfinder, but it isn't on the photo. I just noticed that. But you guys will be able to see it at the end. So let's take the plus one out and put it inside it's a little bit cleaner but okay so let's put that one inside and now I'm going to do the uh, plus two okay another one that is extremely dirty I just don't understand where these filters have been uh, to be so dusty they haven't been taken out of the box, so I don't understand why they would be so dirty. Let's put number two. that this one wasn't as um, dirty as the other one. So now we'll go to the plus four, which is there, plus four. And oh, that one is quite clean. So I'm not going to even clean that one because there's no point. So the plus four. Okay. 
see how far I can get now. So now I'm this far from it. Okay, let's take a closer fall out. And now for the final one, I'm going to do the close up and this should be fun. Yeah, that is okay. It's not dirty. Okay, we'll just put that thing straight in. This one is extremely heavy. As you can see, um, it does make quite a bit of a lump on the lens. Uh, let's just see how far I can get with this. Okay, this one lost the ability to focus. Okay. This is the last one. Um, okay, now as a final test, I would like to put them all together, but I, I know I won't be able to do that just because of the amount of glass that actually protrudes out of the frame. The other ones won't be able to go on top unless I put this one at the end. Uh, just have a quick look. Um, yeah, that should work actually. So let's just do it like that. So we'll start with number one. see that I cannot put it physically so what Polaroid is saying is absolute rubbish you will not be able to fit this filter like that look the thread won't even touch and this is the correct way down so you will you'll be able to put number two and one but further down you will not be able to put this one because number two protrudes again right out of the lenses which is not um, possible to put all of them together. You can put some of them, but not all of them. Okay, so I'm just going to find out if we can. Actually, let me just try and put number. Yeah, yeah, you will not be able to do it. Not on this one. And obviously, on top of the 10, you will not be able to do it either. So I'm assuming that from 2 up, you will not be able to put any more. So you can add um, a four and a one, okay, and let's see if that works now. Yeah, well now that works. So it's just a two that is a little bit, I'm just trying to get this. The two that does come out quite a lot, okay, so I can put 10, 14, and have 15. Okay, let's have a go with 15. Oh, turn the camera on. So I'm, I'm focusing extremely close. Okay. This is the maximum I'll be able to do on this one. The, the depth of field is extremely shallow and you won't be, you won't be able to uh, once you get the focus, you can't move too much 
uh, anything you move it will just go straight out of focus okay so you've seen it so this one comes a lot out so I won't be able to do it either with this one uh, unless um, I'll be able to put the let's try one more thing to where that this one so if I add this one as a f the first filter and then add yep like that it will work okay so the way to do it oh, I don't know it actually uh, yeah that will work but no actually that does oh. no that doesn't work no doesn't work because it touches on the other side so yeah I hope you like this video uh, and if you want more please uh, check my other videos I've got loads of tests and other things in my videos uh, unboxings and all sorts uh, if you do like this video and you want to give me a thumbs up that I would appreciate that um, if you would like to comment ask any question related to this video you can just post your question below please subscribe to me and I hope to see you in the next video. Uh -huh.